I hear you crying And I know inside You're dying But believe that you'll be A bear flying Very soon When doubt and disappointment Hide the morning sun When all my dreams have ended All my songs are sung His spirit soars within me Every doubt is gone I see a new horizon And sing a brand new song Ahead, a light is shining, and I know the dawn will be arriving very soon. When God closes the door, He opens the window. The window, He opens the window so I can see. He's working it out. The very best for me.
of you. Explain me this. <clears throat> Give me a D, please. I dreamed a horrible dream. Seven cows coming up from the river Nile. Seven fat, healthy, lovely cows. All grazing very happily. Then, from the same river, seven thin, ugly, scrawny, awful looking cows come up. And they ate all the seven fat cows. The thing is, even though they ate up all the fat cows, they were still as horrible, as thin, as ugly as ever, like they hadn't eaten any food at all. Then, and then, I woke up. And then I dreamed another horrible dream. Seven years of corn, fat, healthy, lovely golden ears of corn growing in the field, waving away in the wind. Then. In the same field, seven lepers, disease-ridden, ugly ears of corn, started growing. And they crept upon the lovely ears of corn, and they ate all of the corn. <laughs> Silence! But they were still ugly, thin, and sickly, as if they never caught any of the goodness of the healthy coin at all. What does it mean? Just why I have sent for you. 
My butler tells me that you can interpret dreams and visions. And last night in a fitful sleep, I had exactly two. My dream saw seven healthy cattle grazing by the river. Then from the Nile in single file came seven more besides. Now these cows were thin and haggard, and the rice said they were hungry. They sneaked up on the fat cows and swallowed up the raw hide. Every day's a lie with expectation. The second dream was even stranger. I saw seven giant corn stalks attacked by seven scrawny corn stalks invading from the south. Again, the small ones ate the big ones. I can't understand it. I know a corn stalk comes with ears, but where did it get them out? The future has been revealed to Egypt by the Almighty God. After seven years of plenty will come seven famine years. So my advice to Pharaoh is, appoint a wise commissioner to store supplies of food before the food disappears. God's spirit is upon you, Joseph. I accept your advice and choose you as commissioner. My second in command. Arise, take my ring. I give you charge of all the land. Family. 
Though I could be the worst of fathers, you were the best of sons. And I miss you. I love you. My son. My son. you stand. Your radiance lights the morning sky. And, and you, you seem like, like a real swell guy. guy. Uh, we come before you on our knees. We humbly ask you pretty please. Just make your point and make it plain. Uh, could we swap silver for some grain? It seems to me extremely strange. So many of you have come for grain. There's more to this to realize, I think. You're undercover spies. Say what? what? Our father is a wealthy man, and having children was part of his plan. Oh, oh no, no, great fair number two. We've never tried to spy on you. We're not gonna lie, we're brothers, see? We're, we're one big, big happy family. family! Have all the brothers come for grain? Yes! Yes! Hey! Uh, I'd best explain. There were twelve sons, but not today. One stayed with dad and one passed away. <laughs> I'll release nine of you on bail, but one must stay down here in jail. When you return with the other son, I'll believe you and free everyone. Uh, no, please! Uh, Simeon? No! Simeon! No, Simeon! No, Simeon. No, And now these boys are making tracks Back, back, back to Caden Back, back, back Back, back, back to Caden All the way back Lord, it's them is this it? Lord, all these years I was so certain I had forgiven them. I want to, Lord. Please, give me the strength. Give me your strength. Your love, Lord. Give me everything I will ever need to see this through and glorify you in my life. Lord, I need you to be all the gentleness in me. I've been trying by myself 
struggling all along. From the very start, I knew that I must depend on you. Here I am depending, Lord. The rest is up to you. You're everything I need for you to be. You're everything that shines inside of me, and I will have the strength to do all you ask of me. I will always let you be everything I need for you to be. I made the long journey back with my brothers to Egypt, but I couldn't understand why the governor had sent for me. Came upon the palace, and I was awed by its beauty. I have never seen such wondrous sights in all my memory. And the servants took us to the banquet hall. The governor was to meet us, and we were surprised to find that a lavish feast had been prepared. Then, from behind the satin curtain, stepped the governor. In all his splendor, when he asked us how our father was, I wondered why he cared. He had arranged to have us seated in the order of our ages. We couldn't understand, and we were all astonished that he even knew. He looked at me and said, "You must be Benjamin." The youngest. Then he quickly turned and told us he had to go. At daybreak, we left with our loaded sacks of grain. <laughs> we hardly left the town when we were stopped by Pharaoh's men. They opened my sack and and found the governor's silver goblet. Then they arrested us and took us back to his house again. My brothers fell before him, and they begged him to show mercy. The governor made his servants leave. Emotion filled his voice. God help me. There is no need to be afraid. It is I, your brother. And all has been forgiven. So forget the past and rejoice. It is me, Joseph. It was God who sent me here all along so I could save lives during the famine and preserve our family. Simeon, Joseph. Forgive me, Judah. Joey. Joey. Reuben. Benjamin. Levi. And we all embraced and wept. Knowing God's ways.
are higher than our own. You are the one who put the stars up in the sky to brighten up the emptiness of space. And you put the light on me to stay, a dream that will not die away, to brighten every day. And I know that I can this land well if the Lord will grant it I'll live here by your side then you'll know that my heart is full of pride like father like son we will be to Together at last, a family. I praise the Lord and honor Him to see what He has done. He gave me, He gave me back my son. He has done like father, like father, like son, like father, like son, my son, my son. Joining our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Joining our hands, joining our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Joining our hands. You didn't want to learn this 22 years ago. Well, you are going to learn it now. Whoa.
my son Joseph. Now remember, whatever else may happen to you, never look down. Yours, you see your part, if you be magnified in your heart.